Today I bring you 10 super unique legendary weapons you just have to see. How's it going guys? My name is DP Jen. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out. And subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. Also guys, as usual, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. The two winners for this week are 8BitBird55 and Deadly Games. Be sure to hit me up on either Twitter or Discord. Links to both are in the video description. And guys, I will be checking, so don't try and pull a fast one with me. I will ask you to leave another comment, and I will check channel link to make sure you are the right person. Okay, so the 10 legendaries I bring you today are super unique. Some you might have seen already, others not. Purpose of this video isn't about a weapon's uh, capability, although I might mention it. It's about uniqueness and the weapons having a standout feature. Which I suppose they would and could be considered for the standout feature they offer. But that isn't the point in this video, so let's go. Firstly guys, we have a legendary called the Compressing Storm. My version, Anointed 2 Moles. Tut tut, it looks like rain. Firstly, the weapon itself, I'm sure you would agree, looks absolutely amazing. Stats wise, probably not. But what this thing does is truly unique. Upon its long charge time and initial shot, it spawns four orbs that deal shock damage to any nearby target. I mean, playing on Mayhem 3, where sometimes mods go against you or help you out even, this could be super effective. But the additional orbs which shock nearby targets is why I've added this to my top 10 unique weapons list. Okay, so next up we have a weapon which basically gives you unlimited ammo while hitting like a truck at the same time. It's called Lucian's Cool and while well, it looks like something you'd see Terminator hunting you down with. It has two barrels as well as 16 in the magazine, but this weapon's speciality is critical hits return two bullets to your magazine and ricochet bullets to nearby enemies. Now watching this thing shoot, I'm sure you guys out there that haven't got this or seen this already will have it added to that list of needs. With a sniper scope and a rate of fire, you'd think this thing would shoot all over the place, but in fact it's deadly accurate. And giving you ammo back directly into the clips when getting critical hits means against bigger bosses, you can absolutely drill them with no issue of ever having to reload. It's simply amazing. Wish granted. Okay, so next up we have Mora Embrace the Pain. And literally, guys, it's pain you have to embrace when firing from this thing. The weapon in design looks absolutely amazing for sure, and I'm pretty sure you will agree with me on that. But being a children of the vault weapon, it overheats. And it's the overheating is where the fun starts, as you can see on the screen now. It literally sets you on fire. Although it's a bit of a powerhouse, I think the sheer fact it lights you up will put people off. I love the way you put water on it to cool the weapon down though. I mean this could be decent for certain builds based around fire and incendiary, but it isn't for me. Next up we have the engulfing super shreddifier. Looking a bit like Lucian's cool. Now upon first look, you think yes, it just looks like a standard minigun weapon, we've seen these plenty. But once you activate its second feature, it turns into another level of animal, shooting out of both barrels at the same time, and it just absolutely shreds whatever's in its path. Could you imagine this with the same perk that Lucian's cool has? Wow, that would be incredible. Next up we have 
have the bounty for this structural spinner, and <laughs> wow what a name, kind of reflects the way this thing acts too. So this weapon you can switch between fire and radiation, but that ain't why it's on my list, check out this thing in action. It's like wow, literally one of the best design guns I have seen. It's kind of got like a giant vacuum on the front but blowing out instead of sucking in. With the thing on the side spinning up to charge it too, it looks seriously epic and probably one of the better guns I've ever seen. The weapon itself though isn't incredibly powerful, but with its standard clip of 48 and being able to switch elements, the weapon isn't to be quickly written up. <laughs> Okay, so next up we have the Decaying Star Helix. Now looking at this weapon's design, you'd ask why have I included this thing, and I'd agree it doesn't look that special at all. But this thing's speciality is seen upon unleashing it. As you can see on screen now, this thing is super unique within its firing method. The only thing I can think of to explain the way this thing fires is, if you've ever played Street Fighter and played with Guile, his sonic boom. It looks just like that, but just a faster motion. Now as it makes the bullet spread, it's actually great for taking out groups of enemies and if a target is big enough, it gets hit by all shots, so seriously useful. It is a shame about the small mag size though, but I know there are builds out there and specialist mods and stuff which can help you out here. Okay, so next up we have the double penetrating oculist, and wow, look at this thing. Design itself is absolutely amazing, reminding me of the Dragon's Breath from Destiny 1. This torque pistol doesn't just lock the part though, it actually plays the part too. Now having only 5 in the mag, it seems a little underwhelming. In most combat scenarios, it messes things up. Consuming 2 bullets per shot, it shoots 1 initial projectile, which is followed by a further 3 all doing that damage upon impact. And as you can see, this thing seriously hits hard, so keep an eye out for it guys. I know there are some serious pistol lovers out there, this is definitely one for that collection. Okay, so next up people, we have the double penetrating potent laser exploder. And while its design is indeed beautiful, the reason I've added this to my list is because basically, it's a Ghostbusters gun. What's not to love? Now this thing being a super powerful weapon, consuming 2 ammo per shot and with a mag size of 22, you'd think it'd be burning through that ammo quick, but actually that ain't quite the case at all. It kind of consumes that ammo slowly. Now I do believe there are different variants to this, so what one have you got or seen? Let me know down below in that comments section. But yeah, the Ghostbusters double penetrating potent laser exploder is a beast of a weapon and one that is truly super unique. We have a weapon called the Rowan's Cool. Now, acting a lot like the Lucian's Cool I covered earlier, this also with critical hits returns two bullets to your magazine and ricochets two bullets at the nearest enemy. Now, unlike the Lucian's Cool, though, it doesn't have a massive magazine size, and honestly, it isn't on my list because of the way it performs. It's the design which I love, and that being an alien tech weapon makes it just look even more epic. But check out the way this shoots. You wind this thing up, people, how amazing is that? And really guys, it's for that reason I've added it to my list. 
I just love the way it looks and the way it fires. Okay, so last time guys, we have one of my favorite legendary weapons in the game so far, and it's called the Nuclear the Dictator. Now, looking at the gun, it's clear to see why it's being featured, but not only does this thing look absolutely incredible, it performs on another level too, being a super powerful weapon. Reason being is when it shoots, it fires, I believe, six or more shots per two ammo consumed, making this thing an absolute drilling machine. But you can go one better people and make it even more powerful by changing its firing mode to bipod. Doing this disables your ability to move quicker, jump or sprint, but it allows you to fire 10 single shots per 2 ammo consumed. So being close enough to an enemy or a boss and landing all shots from a single clip of say 40, that's literally 200 shots within the same amount of time of firing those 40 bullets. How crazy is that? So yes guys, this is definitely one you need to look out for. Nuclear the Dictator. I am looking for an anointed one for Zane. And if you guys have that and you are playing on Xbox, you can always send me a message at IMDPJ. I would appreciate that, I really would. But yeah guys, 10 unique legendaries you've got to see. We have come to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I really do. Tell me down below in that comment section your favorite legendary weapon. And guys, that is it. 10 unique legendaries you gotta see to believe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and tell me down below what your favorite legendary is. But on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never wanna miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.